In this video, we'll cover all the handy shortcuts which can be used in Rive. To navigate around the stage, you can go ahead and use the scroll wheel to move up and down. You can hold down shift while using the scroll wheel to move in the horizontal direction. To pan around the stage, you can go ahead and right click and drag like this. Or you can go ahead and hold down space bar and drag with your left click as well. To zoom in, you can go ahead and press the plus key or to zoom out, you can go ahead and press the minus key. You can also do the same by holding command or control and scrolling like this. Or you can go ahead and hold down the Z key and highlight a area which you want to zoom in like this. You can also press the F shortcut to focus into an object by default the artboard. You can go ahead and select any object and press F as well to focus the same. To set the zoom level to 100%, you can go ahead and press Ctrl or Command 0 like this. Press A for the artboard tool. Press R for the rectangle tool. Press O for the ellipse tool. P for the pen tool. B for the bone tool. G for the group tool and press Y to toggle between the freeze mode like this. Press the V key to go back to the selection tool to move any object. You can activate the translation tool by pressing Q on the keyboard and by selecting a object and clicking and dragging anywhere to move it like this. You can activate the rotation tool by pressing the W key and clicking and rotating any object like this. And you can also activate the scale tool by pressing E on the keyboard and clicking and dragging to scale an object like this. You can hold down shift for a uniform scale as well. You can use arrow keys to move an object. And you can hold down shift when moving an object to perform precise transformations. For the pen tool, when you hold down shift, you constrain the angle of the same. To select an object behind another object, you can hold down Alt and click like this. To group objects, you can select them and press Ctrl or Command G like this. And if you want to ungroup elements, you can go ahead and press Command or Ctrl Shift G. To select an element inside of a group, you can press Enter and then select the elements inside. Or you can go ahead and hold down Ctrl or Command and select each object like this. And you can use the Alt shortcut as well, that is you can hold down Alt to select an object behind an object inside a group. To create a duplicate of an object, you can go ahead and press Ctrl or Command D like this. Or you can go ahead and hold down Alt and drag the object like this to create a copy like this. To activate the solos tool, you can go ahead and press the L key and create a solo group like this. To convert a group to a solo group, you can go ahead and press Ctrl L. To create a solo group of selected objects, you can go ahead and press Ctrl or Command L like this. To move objects outside of a solo group, you can use the Ctrl Shift G command as well to ungroup the solo group. To arrange your hierarchy, you can go ahead and use the Ctrl or Command bracket close to move an object up in the hierarchy like this or you can press the control and bracket open to move an object back in the hierarchy. To bring an object to the forefront, you can go ahead and hold down control or command, alt or option, bracket close like this. To do the opposite, you can go ahead and hold down control or command, alt option and bracket open. To rename an object, you can go ahead and use the control and command R shortcut and name the object. You can press enter to move inside of an object's vertice editor and press escape to go back to the normal mode. You can press Ctrl or command K to bring up the search menu and type your search query. This will bring up all the artboards inside of your file and you can select the same like this. When you move an object, snapping is enabled by default. And if you want to disable that while moving an object, you can hold down Ctrl or Command and then move it to disable snapping on the same. You can change the color of an object by selecting the same and then pressing I on the keyboard to open up the color picker like this. To undo an operation, you can go ahead and press Ctrl and Z. And to redo that, you can go ahead and press Ctrl Shift Z. 
To switch between the hierarchy and the assets panel, you can go ahead and press Ctrl 1 or Ctrl 2 like this. To switch between the design and the animate mode, you can go ahead and use the tab shortcut to switch in between. You can go ahead and move the playhead of the animation using the arrow keys that is in the right or the left direction. You can hold down shift to move the playhead 10 frames in the left or the right direction like this. You can hold down Ctrl or Command Shift to move the playhead either to the start or to the end of the animation like this. You can move keyframes by selecting them and pressing Alt the direction of the keyframes like this. And you can use the Shift modifier as well to move the keys 10 frames to the left or the right as well. If you want to move in between the keys, you can go ahead and hold down Ctrl or Command and use the arrow keys to move in between the keys like this. To reveal the animation of the selected objects, you can go ahead and select the objects and press U on the keyboard to display their keyframes like this. You can hold down Alt or Option to remove any property like the color, the clip, constraints and even conditions inside of a state machine. That concludes the keyboard shortcuts which can be used in Rive. If I missed any, let me know and use these to boost your productivity.